I'm Jolene Skinner, and I'm a pediatric rehab physician here at Mayo Clinic. So I'm actually using Botox for quite a few things. Um, I was uh, first introduced to Botox in my fellowship training, and um, uh, used it primarily for spasticity management, meaning that we would inject muscles, mostly arms and legs, of kids with uh, cerebral palsy or other conditions for spasticity. Since I've gotten to Mayo, there's been a few other areas that I've expanded into, and so now I do it for infants who have refractory torticollis. And uh, torticollis is a condition where they have the tightness in the muscle of the neck, and if they don't respond to our usual treatments, which is positioning them in a different way, doing some stretches, uh, sometimes even trying a, a special collar to hold their neck straight, then we uh, consider using Botox injections um, to relax the muscle and facilitate our stretching. Another area that I've just expanded into is using it for headaches in our kids and adolescents, working with one of our uh, primary headache neurologists and uh, uh, doing uh, uh, procedural injections for um, chronic migraines. In fact, one of the um, uh, most robust, uh, robust research papers has come out of here with regards to um, use of Botox in uh, uh, migraines in adolescents. So it's, uh, both of those techniques are quite new and uh, we're uh, trying to expand that uh, ideally uh, using that to document what we're doing, how we're doing it, and then um, publishing those results to help others move forward with using these techniques too. With regards to using the Botox for spasticity, um, the patient's responses are generally very good. I have families that have children who are on the verge of walking and the spasticity in their legs is interfering with that. And so by using the Botox, we're able to quiet down some of those muscles and help those kids progress with their walking. It's been phenomenal response to that. With the torticollis, I've had um, one child in particular who came to me, he, age of three, had had an extensive evaluation for his torticollis, had been through um, prolonged physical therapy. The family had been incredibly diligent with doing the exercises. He's tried a couple different collars and nothing was working. And in fact, his, his neck muscles were so tight that his head shape had changed because of the pull of those muscles. And so we were sort of the end of the road for the treatment for him. Um, and the surgeons for that type of torticollis typically don't operate until they're around five or six years of age. So this kid was in a little bit of a limbo. And uh, three months later, this child is holding his head straight. Um, he's had improvement in how he moves his neck. And he's actually been able to do a few more activities because he doesn't have the constraints of having such tight neck muscles. Right now, we're starting some research using a novel um, ultrasound technique and evaluating the effect of Botox on muscle in kids with spasticity. So the novel ultrasound technique is called shear wave dispersion ultrasound vibrometry. What we hope to accomplish with this is being able to quantitate the stiffness in kids with CP, and this would be independent of their spasticity, um, which is important because spasticity measurements can be inconsistent. If the child is really angry or upset when you're trying to do their exam, they can actually make things seem tighter, and so your measurements of how stiff they are when you're just doing it in the clinic can be off from what they typically are. If they're sick or sleepy, they can seem looser. What we plan to do is measure this over a period of time after Botox injections to see really what is the true duration of effect of Botox on muscle stiffness and what sort of effect does it have on muscle stiffness itself. And the plan is to actually look at expanding this um, technology into other areas. Right now we're using it in adults um, with a, a new study looking at uh, uh, bicep muscle stiffness after stroke. We are also looking at uh, getting involved in a uh, clinical trial uh, with uh, uh, Botox uh, in uh, chronic migraines. In